Shabbat Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Makarkadash. Shalom to the elders of Great Millstone for pushing the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, pushing the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And I say Shalom to the Akim out there. And this is a uh, another quick sit-down lesson that I want to bring out. And this is from BibleGateway.com. And the uh, title of this lesson is uh, getting to our uh, First Peter 5 and 8, along with cross-reference scriptures that relates to First Peter 5 and 8. And this is uh, First Peter 5 and 8 from BibleGateway.com, KJV of the Holy Scriptures. And it reads, it says, be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the deceiver, is a roaring lion walking about, seeking who he made about, right? And that's going to uh, occur uh, a very lot in the current times that we are in, you know? Because, you know, we definitely got to be uh, spiritually and mentally, uh, spiritually and mentally uh, sober, you know? Because your adversary is the deceiver. He's definitely going to be a warring lion walking about, seeking who he made him power, you know. Seeking he could overthrow, you know. Seeking he could overthrow with these uh, evil spirits on um, people, you know. Especially the Israelite man, you know. And that's why hey, we dodge those fiery darts, you know, so can withstand against the wiles of the deceiver. You can read that in uh, Ephesians 6 and 10, you know. That's why we put on the whole armor of Yahweh, so we can withstand against the wiles of the deceiver. Because he's going to be an ultimate warring lion walking about seeking who he may devour. Especially in the times that we are in, you know. Because a hey, spirit created for vengeance is going to continue to increase. You know. All these are going to increase in the latter days, you know. That's why we got to be spiritually uh, sober. You know, sp spiritually sober minded, you know. Especially in the times that we are in. In the times that we're about to enter into as well too, you know. At First Peter five and eight, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the deceiver, as a warring lion, walking about seeking who he may devour. You know. So with that, you know, I'm I'm really not wanting. I, I uh, really wasn't going to get into the uh, cross reference scriptures, but I kind of uh, changed my mind. I just want to just get into the First Peter five and eight. So you know, being spiritually sober minded, mentally and physically. Especially in the times that we are entering into. So putting on the whole armor of your house so of course then against the wiles of the deceiver. And definitely be spiritually sober minded. You know. Because your adversary is the deceiver walking on walking around, walking about, to and fro on the planet Earth, seeking who he may devour. And that's gonna uh, happen a lot, a lot more in the latter days, you know. Because you know his time is short, you know. So with that Hopefully this uh, lesson was edifying. This quick sit down lesson, get into the first first Peter five and eight, of uh, being you know being spiritually sober and being spiritually vigilant as well too. So with that, I would like to give all par uh, all praises and glory and honor too to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Akarkadash. Uh, shalom to the elders of Great Millstone for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And until next time, I will say shalom.